Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to uh, to your uh, update on XRP. I um, wanted to do an update. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to cover XRP still, but uh, I mean, I, I used to do it every morning, but right now there's just so much to cover that uh, XRP cannot always uh, be in that list, but that's why we're covering it today. Uh, I did cover it two days ago, so this is kind of an update as to what has happened and the short answer is not a lot and that what has happened uh, hasn't been that great all right uh, if you take a look at xrp right now um i wouldn't necessarily say it's bearish but it's 100 percent no longer bullish right um so i just wanted to uh, just want to talk about it in these current market circumstances if you look at xrp right here you can see uh market wide we had these like weird dumps and and spikes in open interest overall the open interest is is dropping down which means XRP is losing momentum, uh, which is quite logical if you if you if you just look at the price, right? I mean, the price has definitely lost momentum. Uh, last se Saturday we were still quite bullish, still potential to break above seventy cents, and now all of the EMAs are on top of the price again, which is bearish. And uh, just in general, and we talked about that in the last video as well. Uh, the most important level was sixty three and a half cents. And the, the only way in which in which XRP could recover after the drop we had uh, Monday overnight, uh, the only way it could recover was by breaking above 63.5 and, and 64 cents. So it wasn't able to do that, uh, which means that, uh, well, what I said is that we would then likely drop back down to the bottom of this range. Because you can see uh, that it, at, at the middle of November, this was actually a range, right? So we broke out above that uh, last week. And now, unfortunately, we're back there. Uh, so that's the situation. We are neutral. We're consolidating. The open interest is dropping down a little bit, but not that much that I would say, oh, we're bearish. Uh, we're getting some bullish momentum. Let me quickly grab up, uh, put up another chart. We're getting some momentum here uh, with, with Bitcoin, but I very much doubt that that's going to be, that's going to make Bitcoin bullish all of a sudden. Um, so for, for, for XRP, see, what would be needed again, is a breakout above 63 and a half cents. And I see absolutely no reason why that would happen now. The, the only way that could happen is, even though fundamentally I'm quite bullish on, on Ripple and XRP, but the only way I could see this happening on the short term is if Bitcoin becomes very bullish. So if Bitcoin breaks above, let's say, 42,500. And I just don't see that happening. It's crypto, of course, it's a possibility uh, because of that, but... I don't see it happening. I can see Bitcoin being more bullish and I also expect XRP to, to respect this consolidation, right? So I do expect XRP to slowly get back up towards the 62 cents and maybe spike up to 63 and a half cents. Uh, but I, I, I don't think it's going to break out. I think it's going to stay in this consolidation and then it's waiting for a breakout, either above 63 and a half cents or below 59 cents. And uh, back when we were in the consolidation here in November, I always said, I expect a bullish breakout. Uh, and that happened. Now I'm not so sure. I'll keep you updated on that. But I actually do think that it's um, getting more and more likely, even though we're getting some bullish momentum. Uh, but I think it's more and more likely that we'll get another, um, another uh, drop, another dump, another retracement, whatever you want to call it couldn't find a good word, uh, from the crypto markets. And therefore, I think it's 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 a little bit more likely. We'll have to see how it goes, but it's a bit more likely that we'll actually get a bearish pullback and breakout and a drop down to 55 cents. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that part. But uh, uh, apart from that, this is what you should know. All right, so thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments, of course. Uh, there you can also find more info about my premium and signal group if that sounds interesting. But, uh, but that's up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.